Hi guys, Ivan Susan here again from Vloggers on the Loose. Today we're going to talk about um, top performing suburbs in Perth for, for growth for units and houses. Now, it's not going to be a long video guys, there's only about six of them. So um, we'll take a walk along here. This is the Canning River over here by the way. We'll take a walk along here and um, I'll um, rattle off these suburbs for you. Because as you know, it's no surprise, Perth has been um, one of the top, top performing, um, or the nation's strongest performing market over the past year. So WA prices have surged more than 23% over the past year, driven by relative affordability and constrained supply leading to competitive conditions. Perth's recent growth follows years of economic stagnation. And you know what, it, we, were, we were very, our houses were very, very lowly priced for a long time. And now it's um, just gone through the roof suddenly. So, which is good for, for us. If you're selling, it's good, but then you're gonna buy something also. But anyway, um, Perth's recent growth follows years of economic stagnation, like I said and can be seen as catching up after a period of underperformance. That's correct. The strong market includes fewer vacancies and increased competition with interest rates which are influencing market dynamics, pushing prices up and adding burden to buyers who anticipated rate hikes. So we've got the top three suburbs in Perth for house price growth. And um, the first one here is Armadale. And Armadale is 35.4 35 kilometers on the Perth CBD. Um, number of houses sold in the last 12 months, 356. So that's quite a few houses, guys sold over there in Armadale and the median house price over there is 500,000 Australian dollars. Um, change in median price over the last 12 months shot up 42.9 percent in Armadale, quite a big jump. And the next one is my favorite suburb guys, if you've watched our video on this suburb <laughs> called Camello. <laughs> 30 kilometres from the Perth CBD. 136 houses have changed hands there in the last 12 months. And the median price over there in Camillo is 510,000 Australian dollars. Um, that had a price jump of 41.7% over the past year. Not bad. Look at those two people standing on the balcony there. Are they real? No, they're not. A couple of statues. Strange, strange thing to have on your balcony, but anyway. Um, beautiful day in Perth here today, guys. Check this out. That's the Canning River, like I said. Uh, and there's the train over there in, in the foreground, right over there. It's going across the, uh, the freeway over there. That's where the train goes. It's gone now behind that. There it is again just emerging from those bushes. Uh, we're just taking a casual stroll over here in um, Apple Cross. Okay, the next suburb is Parmelia. And that's 38.8 kilometers south of the Perth CBD. 131 houses were sold there in the last year. It's a big difference to Armadale which had 356. Anyway, the median house price over there in Parmelia is 545,000 Australian dollars. And um, the change in median price over the last uh, year, 39.7%. Um, so um, quite a big spike out there in Parmelia. Okay. 
We'll get on to the next lot here, and these are the top three suburbs in Perth for unit price growth. So the last one was houses, or well, the first one was houses, these ones are units. What do you, I'm talking about houses, what do you guys think of the houses along here? Quite nice, here's a new build going up here guys. Very modern, very flash. Um, beautiful river view, that's what they'll get there as their view. That's it, the, these houses are right on the Canning River. You can't get any closer. And the river's looking really nice, very, very calm. And there's a couple of, or a lot of big boats over there. Check them out, that one on the far end there, that's massive. Absolutely huge. And there you go guys, the cyclists are back in town. They're all, as long as they keep single file, it's okay. Some of them go double or triple. Um, there's one of the original old houses across there guys. Probably worth, probably worth millions. Anyway, we'll get on to the top three suburbs in Perth for unit price growth now. And the first one is Gosnells. Uh, 20 kilometers from the Perth CBD. Number of units sold there in the last 12 months, 116. And the median um, price over there for units is 425,000 Australian dollars. It had a spike of 38.9% growth in the last 12 months. The next one makes an appearance again. It made an appearance in the houses. Now is it making an appearance in the units? And it's called Armadale. Armadale, 35.4 kilometres on the Perth CBD. Uh, 149 units exchange hands there in the last... Um, 12 months and the median unit price over there is 390,000 Australian dollars and it had a spike over there of 32.2% growth in the unit price in Armadale over the last 12 months. Guys the next one is um, Rockingham and Rockingham is 46.4 kilometres south of the Perth CBD. Um, 324 units um, changed hands over there in Rockingham. And Rockingham's median price for units is 415,000 Australian dollars. It had a, a price jump over there of 28.9% over the last 12 months. So, um, that, that's, that's it for the, for this uh, video. It's not a very long video, guys. There's all those boats again I was showing you. Um, look at that, or telling you about, and the city's over there, by the way. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but the city's over there. There's a lot of people over here also working on their boats. So um, it's quite a nice part of uh, Perth over here. That over there in the foreground there, that bridge, that's the Canning Bridge. And the famous Raffles, Raffles Hotel is over there also. So what we might do guys is just wind it up over here. I'm going to walk in the water and wind it up. What do you guys think? I'm not walking in the water but I'm very, very close to it. We'll wind it up over here, guys, on the nice Canning River over here. There's a guy over there on his little canoe. He's having some fun. Thanks for watching the video. Not a long video, guys, but um, nevertheless quite interesting, quite important probably for people who want to know. Um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. And um, we'll see you in the next one.